everyone. I'm Funny Man Dan. And I'm Max. And we are so glad to see you today. I can see all of my friends. That's right, Max. We're here to have fun, explore the Bible, and learn all about today's big point. What is today's big point, Max? Spinning around until you fall over is fun. That's right. Spinning around until you fall over is fun. What? <laughs> Got you again. Oh, you sure did, Max. But we still don't know today's big point. Hmm. I wonder if our host Sophie knows. Oh, Sophie. Hey, funny man, Dan. Do you know today's big point? Uh huh. The possibilities are endless with God. Thanks, Sophie. We'll see you soon. And I'll see you soon. Explorers, grab your backpacks. Test out your binoculars. And fasten your seatbelts. Click. Because today, FMD, Max, and you are going on an adventure of discovery. What about today's big badge? Oh, I almost forgot. After today's quest, we'll be earning a big badge. What's today's big badge, Max? The impossible is nothing badge. So are you saying it is possible to spin round and round and round and not get dizzy? I don't think so. <laughs> so let's start today's adventure with the big story. Have the best time. A huge crowd followed Jesus eager to hear his words after they had seen him heal the sick and perform miracles. Looking out over the crowd, he said to Philip, one of the disciples, How will we feed all these people? Where can we buy enough bread for them to eat? Philip answered, It would take half a year's wages to buy enough for each person to take just one bite of bread. One of the other disciples spoke up, Here's a boy with five small loaves and two small fish, but how far will this go to feed so many? Jesus took the small loaves of bread and few fish from the young boy, held it in his hands, and gave thanks to God for it. He then had his disciples hand out food to each person in the crowd, giving them as much bread and fish as they could eat. Something surprising happened. The food never ran out. Every time they reached for a loaf of bread, there was another one there. After the whole crowd had eaten, they counted the leftovers to find that they had enough bread to fill 12 baskets. Jesus took a small amount of food and did the impossible so that a massive crowd of over 5,000 could eat. Impossible is nothing to God. Jesus performed many impossible miracles. He walked on water, calmed a storm. Things we may think are impossible are not that way in God's sight. The possibilities are endless with God. I can't believe what we're going to do today. The start is really simple. Just fill up a bag with water. But then Dad tells me he's going to push a pencil through the bag without the water spilling. I think it's impossible, but Dad says it's possible. Wow, that's amazing. Now it's my turn. I don't think I can do it. Wow, I did it. I really didn't think it was possible without the water spilling out everywhere. But my Dad said it was possible and he was right. I have loved learning about how incredible Jesus is and how he can perform impossible miracles like feeding two fish and five bread rolls to 5,000 men. Jesus performed miracles that seemed impossible to us. When something seems too hard for us, we can remember that nothing is impossible to God and that he can help us. The Bible says, that if we have just, just a little bit of faith in God's power, we can tell a mountain to move. Impossible is nothing to God. Do you think you can believe in God to help you with things that seem impossible? Yeah. You can? Well, I officially 
officially present you with today's big badge. The Impossible Is Nothing Badge. Congratulations, you did it. Another badge earned, another lesson learned. Bye everyone. Hello. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> the possibilities are endless with God. Huh? The possibilities are endless with God. Ah, the possibilities are endless with God. <laughs>